Hey there guys, welcome back to Let's Play Night in the Woods. Last time we did, did some stuff. It's been a while since I played this. Like, actually recorded an episode for this, because this was a... And, uh... For some reason, in this episode, the loading screens are going to take longer than usual. Just warning you, if you want to skip past those parts. Sup, Dad? Heard you had a wild time last night. I didn't drink. It works better if it lets you me accuse you first. Right. Here's my hangover cure. Not drinking the night before. Wow, hold on, let me write that down. It's complicated, I know. What did you do tonight? Um, helped Greg move some stuff. Look at what a good friend you are. Helping someone move is quite a gesture. Well, we've been best friends since, like, forever. So I feel like we're well past that point. I am really, really sore, though. Sometimes you gotta get sore for friends. Hey, Dad, would you mind moving the boxes in the crawl space? Well, what have you done for me lately? That doesn't count. Well, would you watch some TV with me? Hold up. Hop up. I'm watching G Garbo and Malloy. Nice. Yeah, and for some reason the game starts freezing here, so just warning you all. Unless the recording didn't catch that, but I don't see how it couldn't have. Welcome back, folks! Hello, I show tonight. Say, Malloy. Yes, Garbo? Ever get the feeling that disaster is right around the corner? Sure do, right before we start the show every night. You superstitious, Garbo. Not anymore. What happened? Yeah, see right there. What happened? I've broken every mirror I've ever owned. And now I'm lucky enough to never have to look at this mug. <laughs> yeah, but what about the rest of us? What? That's a whopper. Coming up next, Garbo and I join a cult. Huh. Sounds oddly foreshadowing. That's all. And mom's not in the kitchen, so. Let's go. Actually, now that I think about it, I think that, that that door over there might be the parents' bedroom. Which means that this house does not have a bathroom. And here, I got scared the game crashed. Because we remain on this black screen for several seconds longer than I would like. I seriously thought the game just up and crashed here. Yep, nothing much to say. Ah, there we go. And all that's in here is for the fucking same dialogue we've already gotten already, so nothing new in here, actually. Several of these loading screens last longer than I would like as well. I think the game might have been uh, telling me something. Like this one. God, I'm getting Sonic 06 flashbacks. There's only one more rhythm section after this, and it is the one that even fans of this game don't like. Hey, what'd you end up doing tonight? Watch a third of a season of Bleak Dominion. Oh wow, I like that show. I'm watching it for the first time. Nice, I've seen like all of it. Well, don't spoil it. What episode are you on? Season 1, episode 4. Oh crap. Okay, we'll talk about it later. Sounds good, gonna get back to watching it now. Enjoy! Good night. Hey, dude, my entire muscles are gonna hate you forever. Five, six, ever you. Dude, my muscles hate me enough for both of us. I'm so angry at gravity right now. Let's kill gravity! What's gravity done for me lately? Hurt all of our muscles? Okay, I'm gonna go lay on my bed and die, probably. 
I'm already dead. This is the robot head speaking. OMG. I know where you live and what you said. OMG too scared. Okay, good night. <laughs> and I didn't realize this before, but you can actually click this weird radish at the top of the screen. I guess that's what that's supposed to be. And you can get like a weird little factoid or something. I don't know, there's no real point to it, but it's a nice little addition as well. There's a lot of little things in this game that are nice little additions, but not necessary for actually playing the game, but they're nice to have. And now we're gonna actually go to bed. And this episode, you might have noticed, is a little bit shorter than some of the others, if only because this dream sequence took me a lot longer than I would have liked to finish, and also the loading screens took up a decent portion of time, and I didn't want to have an entire video composed of just of me waiting for the loading screens to end. But here we have our second dream sequence. Okay, we have a bird on violin. start going into the symbolism of this dream, because I, I really am not good at analyzing stuff like that. Now, this is coming from someone who actually does have a decent interest in dream symbolism. And I fell again. idiot and I didn't realize that you could actually end the dream fairly easily as long as you just go back over here after lighting all the lanterns. I think is how you get out of this one? I don't know. And bear. That's a big bear. That's a giant bear with glowy eyes. And he disintegrated us. And now he's disintegrated. Goddamn. That was weird. I was wondering for a 
for a second that I just spent the last minutes of this episode on the loading screen, but I don't think I do. I think I do a little bit more, and then I end this off. Ah. Hey, I'm working today if you want to say hello. Yep, that's my life right here. Morning. I'm somehow even more sore. This is bullshit. I'm working today. Angus is out of town and I'm lonely. Okay, bye. Sincerely, Gregory. But yeah, I think that's where we're going to end this episode off, so I can see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>